guys welcome back to the channel this video i'm happy to say i'm actually taking my product shots from my first etsy launch and doing my listings and hopefully incorporating the launch as it goes out and then seeing what the response is seeing if anybody actually wants to buy anything or if it's a complete waste of time <laughs> i've just released the video of me actually making the products or what i'm going to put in the shop so if you're interested and haven't watched that already i'll link it below i'll link it in the end card and all that jazz if you guys don't already know i am a photographer so i feel like this process is gonna take a lot longer than the average person we could be here a while i've just made a lovely list so i can check things off to make sure i've got all the shots that i need hopefully that'll keep me on track but for taking photos if you are interested i am using my sony a7 III and i'm gonna be using my tamron 28 to 75 millimeter and possibly my sony 85 millimeter i'm sure it's very OTT but you know I may as well use it because I've got it. Would help if I had a battery in it though. Wait hold on. I got it. We're all good. Just take a photo of you guys. Right so my plan. I think I'm going to be using that mirror on my wall because it's pretty. Take my decal photo. Just clean that. I've cleaned my frames. A4 frame with a mount and I have an A5 one. Very similar style. I've also got some fake planty things which might come in use. Add a bit of texture. And I was thinking just for my flat lay I'll just use the desk vinyl because it's a nice white wood vinyl quite a while ago i bought these massive pieces of card there is a bit of a crease but we can work with that i got an orange one and this really nice forest green color hold on let me put you down so thinking putting them like that and then taking a shot maybe i want to obviously use my vinyl workspace but I, I would like to pair it with different colors behind the photos just to make it look a bit different and not all the same so i think to start off the shoot i'm going to start with my sticker pack do a bit of flat lay see what works and what doesn't and we'll go from there they're all fine they're pretty easy to do but with prints i'm trying to take blanks of the frames so nothing in them and not having the glass in so there's no reflections i'm gonna try and see if i can save myself a lot of time by just taking one of these shots now putting it in photoshop the actual digital copy of the print and see if i can pass it off and make it look realistic because if i can just take blank copies of the photo frames and just insert the images that will be a hell of a lot easier. That looks pretty decent, you know. For the final versions, what I will do is put them into Lightroom, color correct them, make them as blank files, change the proportions best I can, and then all I need to do is put it in Photoshop, put the image behind it, and it's like it's already in the actual physical frame. I did tell you the photo process will be a lot longer than it needs to be just because of how picky I am, so. because it's snowing it was bright sun literally two seconds ago oh my god the lighting the sun was actually giving such a lovely ambient light but now it looks kind of dull i can obviously more than likely fix this in post however we now have a plan b because this weather is not changing for anyone asked if i could borrow my brother's light so it looks a lot better I 
look how cool that's come out. I'm quite impressed with it, to be fair. Now look at the state of my room. <laughs> It's now half three. I haven't even started editing the photos, so there were two things I didn't actually record because I haven't mentioned that I'm putting them on. So I have to go to my Etsy to find out what they are. I'm just gonna tidy up everything and get editing because I'm running out of time. hoodie because I got really cold and it's nine o'clock at night. I've done all the listings but I want to proofread it tomorrow before I do anything else. But all the hard work's done I think. So this is kind of what it's looking like at the moment. I've been wearing these glasses for so long that I've probably got dance in my nose. I have been waiting till I've done all the listings. I made a promise to myself until I tucked into this. Literally an Easter egg with mini eggs and a cheesecake in it. I'm dying to tuck into it but I made a promise to myself I wouldn't do it until I finished all these listings which I finally have because it involves all the titles, all the keywords, the description, the postage. I'm just gonna go through all the payment stuff now and hopefully I can just read through it in the morning, double check that everything makes sense and publish it. Hi guys, it has been a long time. I haven't posted for quite a while. There's a very good reason to why I'm about to say. I think the last time I spoke to you, I was doing all the listings and I was like, I'll read through them the next morning, which I started doing. But with how Etsy works, you have to go through the stages and then you get payment part and the billing part. And there was a slight little hiccup. I think I've sold the issue. So today on this fine sunny Saturday is launch day. So yeah, my launch was meant to be last weekend. So it is a week delayed, but that's okay. I think it's solved. There's a couple of things I need to sort out. So I want to redo my banner for my Etsy. I think I want to design a post for Instagram to go up with all the products. designed my banner. I'm just in the process of choosing some photos to put on Instagram. Just done this sort of banner for now. It's not perfect. It'll do for now. I feel like it is better to have a banner than no banner at all. So there's about an hour to go until I hit the button. Check back when it's launch time. Etsy shop is live. I have a weird pattern on my face. But yeah, it's been up for literally like two minutes, if that, and I've already had 25 views, so that's really good. No sale yet. I'm gonna keep this vlog running, see how many sales I do get in the first 24 hours. There may not be any, you know? Who knows if I'm fortunate enough to have a sale today. <sighs> we shall see. I'm just gonna switch off for a bit now, just chill. 
So it's 10 to 11 the next day. I've already had four orders. Someone who has ordered something, they've ordered multiple of the dinosaur sticker packs. So I need to get printing and making a few more of those because at the moment I'm just making to order because there's no point in it just being sat around. I didn't know how to judge it anyway. I didn't know what would be popular and what wouldn't. I've had 184 views at the moment. I wasn't trying to expect anything, especially for a first release and barely having much of a following. I'm pretty pleased with that. So I let me show you have done this Instagram post and it's just got a few things on there. And then I obviously posted on my stories talking about it on my personal account on Facebook. But I always feel like I don't want to bombard everyone, so I've waited for the next day because what I want to do now is create a little highlight of what's in stock. People can also see just at a glance what I have in my shop, and I can obviously add to it as time goes on and then i'm going to start packing the orders i've already had but yeah i can't believe one of my orders is going to sweden that's really cool to their new homes. I'm just packing up again just to make a nice clean workspace. Oh, it's making that funny thing on my face again. So dusty. But yeah, my first orders are now sent off. They're on their way to their new home. Just put a little thing on my story about it. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how my first launch went on Etsy. We'll see if any more orders come in. There's also personalization stuff I want to start listing as well. But before I actually start on all of that, I actually have a bunch of commissions to finish. All my links will be in the description if you want to find my photography page, my illustration page, all of that stuff. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below if you're new, and hit the notification bell. Have a good day, have a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!